Howdy friends, greetings, welcome to Through the Scriptures with Stephen, with your host, Stephen. As you can see, I'm surrounded by mountains, snow, sky, and scenery that is absolutely stunning, gorgeous, the likes I have never seen before. I've been a lot of pretty places, but for me this probably takes the cake, perhaps this moment. Anyways, all this snow. You may think that this is solid ground, this is regular dirt, but no. There have been a lot of firsts today for me, like the first moose track. But also, this is the first time I am standing on a frozen lake. Now, for Alaskans out there, they call that Tuesday. That's normal. But for Mississippians, where I'm from, walking on a frozen lake is almost unheard of. In fact, the way lakes would get frozen down there, nowhere near as frozen as it gets here. I mean, you, if you were to go on a frozen lake in Mississippi, they'd call you crazy, insane. It'd be almost impossible, perhaps, for that lake to get so frozen you can actually walk on it in Mississippi. See, even though a lot of Mississippians may think that the lake, you may not can walk on the lake, you really can. You can have faith that this frozen lake is going to hold you up even when it doesn't look like it's going to. How often does that seem like with God? Like, like, the, like take this lake for instance. We can't really see what's underneath, but we know it's going to hold us because I'm standing on it and I am seeing tracks here that at first I thought were a snowmobile, but upon a closer inspection, it's really Looks like four-wheeler tracks. I have seen that other people have, have been on this lake so I can have trust that it's gonna hold me up. As long as the ice hasn't melted more between now and then. But hey, so far I'm still good. Like God, we can't really see him, but we can still see the effects of what he's done. Look at these mountains, these trees, the moose that's somewhere in there. Of the track I saw. More mountains. This the sky. You know, the sun set over there. All this is immaculate. God made all of these things. We can trust and have faith that in this in this unseen God that like this frozen lake, even though we can't see the lake and though it's holding up, we can still have faith in God we cannot see, but he is still going to hold us up. If your faith is in Christ Jesus, you can know, you can know faith that has been proven by evidence of repentance of your sins. And if you truly are saved, you can know that God is going to be with you and He is always going to hold you up no matter what. In life circumstances, you may sin against Him, you may rebel against Him, but you are always going to be in His hands. And no one can snatch you away from those hands, as it says in John. You can know that no matter how dark life gets, no matter how disappointing it may become, no matter how hopeless it may seem, when you are a Christian, you are still in God's hands, and He is going to hold you up. He is going to hold you firm. He may discipline you to get you back in the right way, but He's never going to let you go. Even though you can't see Him. But anyways, like the cold I can't see is freeze the cold I can't see right now is actually really making my hand really cold. I really need to put it back on the other glove. So until next time, stay holy my friends as the journey continues. Trust in him for he will hold you up if you are in him for certain. Take care.